always drawn and painted animals. I'd say my art is colorful. I love color. I love texture. I love playing around with different things, trying new materials. It's the exploration for me of, you know, seeing what happens when I drop some paint onto a canvas and scrape it across with a different tool. drawn animal, people's animals for Christmas presents. I mean, long before I was a professional artist, I was always sketching and drawing animals, mostly because I had them around and when they're sleeping, they'll sit still. And so you can practice drawing them. I've been interested in doing something with my hands. And so I think I do a lot of gluing and tearing and putting paper down and painting over it. I think building up the surface for me is sort of a, I mean, my pieces are not 3D, but it's somewhat of that process of tactile. I'm interested in that textures. I started out in watercolors, then I went to oils, and I landed with acrylics because they're so versatile and you can work quickly. So last uh, summer we had the opportunity to go to Italy, and the area that we were has a Greek influence, also Turkish. While I was there, I was feeling a little bit, I think just sort of overwhelmed and stunned just by the beauty, the super saturated, you know, sun saturated everything, you know, and, and so all I managed to do while I was there were some sketches and a few watercolors. And even after I got back, I felt like it took me a while to process everything that we had seen. And it's now that I'm sort of, these bursts of the buildings, the side of the buildings that are textural and, you know, peeling, those are sort of coming back to me in bursts and I'm, so I'm playing around with, you know, trying to capture that. I do art, I'm gonna say the standard reason that almost all artists say in interviews, which is, I feel like I have to. But it's so much more, it's, it's, a, it's a drive, you know, it's a, I've always wanted to, all roads have led to it. However, it was never presented as an actual option for making a living. So I spent many years doing something else, making a living, and it was very rewarding. But I always was doing art at the same time. And when the opportunity came, when I juried into Tamarack in 2010, and the opportunity came for me to make it what I do all the time, there was nothing I wanted more than that. So just being able to do it is an incredible gift and it's just a yeah it's a compulsion to do art <laughs>